Melbourne City Council has been accused of being on the wrong side of history after last night debating a motion calling for a ceasefire in Gaza. It sparked emotional scenes as hundreds of Israeli and Palestinian supporters rallied outside Town Hall before the proposal was voted down. Anger as a motion calling for a ceasefire in Gaza was defeated. More than 200 pro-Palestinian supporters watched outside as a four-hour debate ended in a split decision, the acting Lord Mayor with the deciding vote. Then in my role as chair, I exercise a casting vote. The motion is not supported. Shame on you. Shame on you. Ultimately, my view was that it was going to do more to divide Melburnians than unite them. I completely disagree with those remarks that the motion brings division. The motion, in fact, is steeped in international law and humanitarian law. Outside, police were forced to take action after three people supporting the Israeli community walked into the centre of the pro-Palestinian rally. A scuffle broke out and one of the men was pushed to the ground. For us, in order to prevent an ongoing breach of the peace and ensure their safety, it was deemed necessary that they be removed. Some councillors raised concerns for their safety. After the motion was defeated, an alternative passed unanimously. This motion noted the concerns of the Australian, Canadian and New Zealand governments over Israel's planned offensive on Rafah. It also promises swifter action on Islamophobic and anti-Semitic graffiti. But again, the response to this motion has been divided. I voted in favour of the foreshadowed motion last night, but I'm certainly not happy. That motion was weak at best. I have a very clear message to the city of Melbourne and all other councils. You're on the wrong side of history. Stop fanning the flames of hatred and division. Abby Dinham for 10 News First.